Hey everybody, this is Brian, and we're talking about the newest version of Magic 8-Ball, which has not been released yet. It's going to be version 106. If you don't know what Magic 8-Ball is, it is a stock market prediction engine that I've been working on for about two years now. I'll put the link down below, but you click the link, sign up, it will send you an activation code via your email, and then you just come back, click Launch Pass, and send the code, and it will let you in automatically. All right, some things that have changed. I'm just gonna scroll down here. We have a whole bunch of new chat rooms. I have an education section here where I've added a few folks like Axe Option, uh, Zero DTE, that's Ernie off his channel. I think he's actually right over here. And then Option Sandy, she's over there. I've added yep, actually some mentors, so people that want to volunteer to help other people out can. And the chat rooms, sometimes they are dead, sometimes they are just, I can't keep up with them because they get crazy. Uh, today's been kind of a calm day. And I think the market's been kind of indicative of that. It's been trading flat all day. So let's go down here. This is the old system. And I wanted to show you old and then the new one. So today is, gosh, what is today? December 14th, 2022 at 349 in the afternoon. So the market's actually getting ready to close here very, very soon. Wow, I wonder if we're going to see this in real time while I'm recording. I try to record these videos in one shot with zero editing just to kind of show that I'm not hiding anything. Anyways, point being, this is the old version and it's split into two parts, text wall and chart. And it's been criticized both good and bad. The good is that it's been getting better in its accuracy. So we're saying that the price is 3992 and there is a predicted closing of 4,010 with a difference of $18. And then I've got a bunch of metrics and stuff and a forecast and some trades. And these trades you can just copy and paste into Thinkorswim. I, I I love and hate this text wall. I'll just level with you. I love all these metrics because it helps me as a developer, but as somebody coming into this, they don't understand any of this. So that's been the harshest criticism is how do I use this? So I wanted to clean that up. The other thing is this chart. People coming in going, this chart is bloody confusing. How do I use this? And I seem to be the only person on the planet that can figure this thing out. And it's probably because I wrote it. I have to admit, looking at it, if I didn't write it, I'd probably be very confused as well. So I wanted to address those two things along with the accuracy. I've really been focusing on the code for the butterfly trades. Iron Condor, I think, is about as close to perfect as I'll get it. Verticals is getting much better. And in case you're curious about how accurate these are, bear in mind this was not meant to be a trade generating system. It's meant to be an indicator. But in here, I do post, I try to anyways, every day the logs. And I post in just a raw brutally honest accuracy report of every single trade this thing generates. Okay, so that's the old version. New version here, we're gonna flip over into my development server, Void Realms, which don't get excited. You won't see these channels, they're hidden. But I have these up for test reasons. So I'm gonna go to SPX, and let's just make sure we are in the newest one. All right, so it's saying this updated at 1546, and it is currently 1551. So this may update while we're looking at it, but it's saying SPX, I've kind of streamlined this, SPX current price of 3994 and 44 cents is expected to move up, closing near 4011, but will range between 4003 and 4020. So let's take a look at that. So we're gonna flip here, and sure enough, it's tracking up. We're at about 4,000 and change. We got about nine minutes left in the market. We're saying it's going to end up about here. So yeah, all signs pointing to about right there. And we're also given this range. Now this is strictly for newbies that go, how do I use that thing? It's the very first line. I've also added the version at the very top, just in case you're ever confused what version is running. And then I've added this metrics block here for all the math nerds that wanted all these numbers, including myself. So we have the short term, closing and long term. This is that three point prediction. So short term is where we think it's gonna hit very, very soon. You can see the difference here is minimal. Closing is 4,011, yeah, it just updated. Let's go down to the newest one here, guys. All right, so 4,001 and near 4013 will range between 4,005 and 4020. So yeah, we're expecting this to go up. So short term will be very, very soon. You can see that just happened. Closing, this is where we think the market's gonna be in about the next eight minutes or so. Long term, 4010, this is if the market had no end, it's just going to keep going. So in short, here's current, here's short term, 
here's closing long term would be way up here meaning if it just ran till midnight that's about where it's going to settle out we also have an expected move three dollars and 76 cents so we're really not expecting the market to rip up too much further implied volatility pretty volatile market and I added these in for all you math nerds out there, Delta and Gex. Delta is kind of, and if I have to flip over to Thinkorswim to do this, if you look at the option, of course, I got all this crap on my screen. Apologies. Get rid of all this. If you look at the options chain, wow, fail. Get out of there. There we go. If we look at an options chain, Delta is the 005 put and the 005 call. So if we look at the whole options chain, it's basically the possible ranges of where this market will go. So something like negative 005. So about right here down to, and then just keep scrolling down, down in there somewhere. So that's really all Delta is, is it shows you the possible range, but then it shows you the center, which is 4,000. Then GEX, which is more popular, which is gamma exposure, which is also concurring that 4,000. So now you've got double concurrence here. Say that four times real fast, where it thinks 4,000 is kind of the center. And you notice how our short term is right around that. It gives you just kind of a confirmation right on the screen. Volume winners calls, meaning the calls are winning. It's currently pushing up, and we can visually verify that on the screen. The calls are currently winning. With a strength of about half a percent, which of course goes into our expected move in volatility. I added this extra little area in here called areas of interest, no pun intended, which I may tone this down a little bit because you can see how volume one is wrapping. So these are the volume nodes. If you don't know what a volume node is, it's an area of volume that has high traffic. So you see the main node is 4020 with a range between 4020 and 4030. What that means is we are actually, if you look at this, the price is currently below that node, so we're expecting the price to pull up. So it just kind of verifies everything I've said so far. The price is going to go up. Node two, which is 4050. You notice this also has a volume and a rate of change. So what are we getting out of this? We have two nodes, first and second. They're both pointing up, so we can expect this by volume to point up. And we get a nice range and we get the volume associated with it. So you can see the relative strength between the two and the rate of change for each. Open interest. Open interest is like a magnet for price. So I wanted to throw this in here. This was actually a request from one of our members in Magic 8-Ball, which basically shows the top two calls and the top two puts of open interest and shows you where the market's wanting to go. Hotspots, these are relatively new. This is where I do a lot of math in the background and I try to crunch a bunch of numbers. So this tells us where within all of that nightmare the prices are wanting to go. Where are the real hotspots where everybody, the volume, interest, all the math is really meeting. You can see 4050, 3900, 4100, and 4000. You see that number 4000 repeated over and over and over and that's probably where the market's going to go. And then I have the trades. I've been working on these, especially the butterfly, trying to get that more accurate. And the chart has changed quite a bit. So I'm going to open this up. This is what the chart looks like now. So we have volume sideways. So this blue line is the volume profile. And we see the volume spiking right around 4,000. So all signs are pointing right to 4,000. We've got delta, gex, and a hot spot all right there. Then we've got our main volume node, which is also our long-term projection, which is 4020. We've got our predicted close and our short term. So you can see the price is going to go up to the short term, up to the close. And if the market had no end, it would just keep going to 4020. But this also gives us the range that the price will go into. So I've tried to make this chart way simpler. And we have time across the top. We have volume across the bottom and our strikes. And this magenta line represents the price. All right, let's flip over here. And let's look at some more. Let's go to SPY, for example. Similar profile, but you'll notice something fundamentally different. The text wall is virtually the same, but the chart is actually different. So what we're doing here is if the price is within the main volume node, it actually zooms the chart in and adds in the hot spots. So we can see this is that where we're expecting it to go, and there's that three-point range between long-term, 
short term and the predicted close. And for SPY, it's right on that 400 mark. But we've got some hot spots here. So if the market had more time in the day and you can see the price literally bounced off those, that's kind of nuts. We could actually put like a little butterfly here or here and make some money if it jumped up there. Let's look at another, let's go to QQQ. Go down to the newest one. And let's just kind of jump through it. QQQ's current price of 286 is expected to move up, closing near 289, but will range between 287 and 290. And then we have all the metrics that back that up. We have our trades that we can copy and paste and our beautiful chart, which of course is telling us exactly what's going on here. Now, this one's a little interesting because you can see the price is within the hot spot, or I should say within the volume node, and it's also within the hot spots. So this magenta kind of area is that volume node, and we can tell because it's zoomed into this. The price is in here, and it's going to bounce around between these hot spots. You can see it's actually gone down here. It hit this hot spot, which I think if you look down here is 297. Oh, I'm sorry, 287. All right, it's actually 285. Can't even read my own chart. Jumped up to the short term and then bounces back down and it's been ranging right around hotspot one, which is actually our 285. So if we wanted to put a butterfly for end of day, that'd be where we do it, right around the 285 mark. Again, we have made this dead simple. So we've got our volume profile in blue, so you can see it spiking out. This is where the action's gonna happen. And you can kind of correlate that with our hotspots and that's also where the price is ranging around. You can see it kind of doing this little dance around here. So if this seems confusing, bear in mind, this is still early version. I've tried my best to clean it up. Special note, if something is not trading that day, I do put a basic forecast out there. So prediction for Apple on 1216, we're expecting this to go to about 145 and there's the volume to support it. Tesla, same deal. We got a forecast out there. And then I added in NDX, I may remove this. I'm just not a huge fan of NDX. It's so big and so unruly to try and chart. The charts do get kind of looking like a modern art masterpiece because this thing does move around. Uh-oh, I heard the closing bell. So let's see how we did here. Oh, we are right at 39.96 and change. So Magic 8-Ball was actually fairly close in terms of its prediction. Let's flip back here and let's go to SPX. All right, so it says price of 39983 expected to move up near 4000 will range to 4000 to 4000. So there's our end of day. You see how over time that range of possibility kind of narrows down and everything thinks that it is going towards the 4000 number. So the main takeaway here is I've tried to make the text wall easier to read. If you're new and you don't know what to do, just look at this top blurb. If you're a metrics nerd like me, that's where you live. If you like doing volume and open interest, I've made a special area just for you. And if you just want the simplicity of copy and pasting your trades, here we go. Of course, nothing is perfect and this does make mistakes, so please trade responsibly. I've tried to make the chart dead simple to understand. When in doubt, look for that bright red line. That's where the price is going to go to, and you can see that happening right here. Hope that helps, and I will talk to you all later.